class, what's going on? This is Unit 5 Prelab on the Modified Atwood Machine. So in your notebooks, if you could please just copy this down, we have our apparatus, which is this frictionless cart um, attached by a string going around this pulley. We called it a smart pulley. We'll talk about why we called it a smart pulley. And we got a hanging mass off to the side, um, hanging down towards the ground. And, um, and before we even do a prelab, um, we saw a little, we played around a little bit with this machine, um, started to look at the motion. But to really understand the motion, I think the easiest thing to do is draw some force diagrams. So what I want you guys to do right now is draw a force diagram for the cart, draw a force diagram for the hanging mass, and draw a force diagram for both the cart and the hanging mass. These are your systems. So. Um, take a shot at that, pause the video right now for this situation, and we're going to go through it in just one second. So, very quickly, Cart's Force Diagram, if you were to draw this, the first thing you should have is FG on the cart by Earth. Next thing that you should have is a normal force going up on the cart by the table. And last but not least, you should have an FT going to the right on the cart by the string. So that should be your um, situation here. What I want you to realize is this FT on the cart by the string is the reason why this cart will accelerate. Um, it is a net force, so kind of keep that in mind. Hanging mass, if we were to go to the hanging mass, this one gets a little bit more complicated. You have FG going down on the hanging mass by earth however um, this is something to kind of note when looking back at the picture um, if we were to go on over here if this cart starts to accelerate it starts at a rest it gets faster it gets faster going to the right that means this mass must start at rest and do the exact same thing. The reason why it must do the exact same thing is because that they're attached by a string. So if one thing moves, the other thing moves right along with it. So you notice the hanging mass must have an acceleration going down as well. So going back to our force diagram, I know that I need a net force going downward. So in order to do that, my FT must be smaller than my FG. So we have FT on the hanging mass by the rope. And so you realize that these two are not equal. My FG is larger than that. That's a big piece in this. And the other thing that I'd like to note, and I'm actually going to have to change this around a little bit, is my FTs, the FT on the cart by the string and the FT on the um, hanging mass by the rope, these have to be equal to each other. So I'm going to mark those equal to each other. Why? Um, because we know the tension in strings are the same. So that all what that is doing is redirecting that force. So and to really wrap our heads around what's happening in this situation, I'm going to ask you guys to create a force diagram for both the friction cart and the hanging mass. And what I would do if I were you, I would take a shot at this one more time looking at these two things. Note, whenever we combine situations, um, when we combine two objects, um, by the way, the string is also going to be in this. I just want you to note, any internal forces do not appear on your force diagram. So if it's a force that's happening within the system, we do not put it in this force diagram. So please give this a shot right now, and then we'll talk about it. So the way that this force diagram should look like, and this takes a little visualization, number one thing to note, if this thing would actually just slide on over to the right, what does this pulley do right here? This pulley redirects forces. So n the normal FT that's going up and the FG that's going down, as this goes around this pulley, this force diagram redirects itself. So if I were to think about this, this force diagram really looks like FG is pulling to the right and FT is pulling to the left. So that is my thought process whenever I look at this pulley and that redirection of the force. So if I were to actually put these force diagrams together, remember all I'm thinking about is this force diagram right here being switched around. So we have FG on the cart by earth 
we have fn on the cart by the table. And now that redirected force, first off, FTs are not going to appear in my force diagram because it's an internal force. And we have FG on the hanging mass by Earth. And this is our force diagram that is going to be worthwhile to take a look at because now you look at this and you realize that, ladies and gentlemen, right there is the net force that is going to be acting on our system. So what I want you guys to do for homework right now is this is the lab that we are going to do. And what I want you to do is I want you to think of what types of things can we measure. Um, so what measurements can we make? I want you to make a really long list. When you guys walk into class tomorrow, we will discuss this and we will knock this out. So thanks for listening. This is the modified Atwood um, machine that we are going to be performing in class tomorrow. Be ready for it.